This is Cup of Sunshine, your Friday podcast brought to you by the Phoenix Center team of the Deutsche Internationale Schule Johannesburg. Welcome back. I'm Katja Fleck, the manager of the Phoenix Center. I am a mindfulness teacher and psychologist. My colleagues and I will continue sharing helpful hints and tips over the next weeks. So stay tuned for topics like how to talk to children about diversity, family time, self-care and self-esteem. But today I would like to talk to you about one of my favorite topics, mindfulness, and more specifically how a mindfulness practice can help us to work skillfully with the current situation and with any future to come. In the practice of mindfulness, we are cultivating awareness, which arises from moment to moment. Mindfulness means bringing our full attention to what is with openness and curiosity. Mindfulness means accepting what is with patience and non-judgmentally. Mindfulness means pausing and noticing what is going on in our body, mind and heart. It means bringing presence to all our human experiences. Mindfulness is an approach to life. It is a commitment and a promise. People often ask, does that mean I have to just accept everything no matter how bad the circumstances? No, that is not what it means, but by being mindful, meaning bringing awareness to a current situation, we gain a deeper understanding of what is and can choose wise action, instead of just reacting without thinking and feeling. The term mindful activism has been formed to describe such action which is rooted in understanding and wisdom and does not come from a place of resentment, rage or panic. But we also need to understand and acknowledge why these strong emotions occur. Surely you have heard the term survival mode? What it means is our organism is literally in a state where it is fighting, flighting or freezing in order to secure survival of the body. That can be initiated by an actual life-threatening situation or it can be activated by rather simple situations. A look by a classmate, an email by an angry colleague or just a thought story our mind is telling us. If we have experienced trauma, survival mode can kick in unexpectedly and we don't even know what is going on for us. Mindfulness can help us first to recognize when we are in survival mode and second helps us calm down our nervous system. This will bring our prefrontal cortex, the CEO of our brain, back online. We can think again with more clarity. Remember, we simply can't think straight when we are in survival mode. Think of a kindergarten child throwing a tantrum. A tantrum is a state of survival. In those moments, reasoning is not possible. Thinking is only accessible again once the storm has passed. A word of caution. Mindfulness can help us to see things which we were not aware of before. But that can be uncomfortable and even overwhelming. Sometimes it might be necessary to speak to a health professional to see if it is a good idea to take up this practice at this point in your life. Now, before I talk a little more on how mindfulness can help us in the current situation, I'd like to invite you to a mindful pause. For this practice, you may close your eyes or leave them open, whatever is more comfortable for you. We begin by bringing our awareness to our thoughts. What is on your mind? Which thoughts are present? And remember, we are just observing without judging or wanting to push thoughts away. Which emotions are here for you? Whatever it is whether it's anger, sadness, anxiety. Again, the invitation is to just notice. Which sensations can you feel in the body? Maybe you feel tingling, tension, numbness or no particular sensation at all. Whatever it is, see as best as you can to just notice. 
what is here. Now bring your awareness to the sensation of breathing. As best as you can, stay with that sensation of breathing. If your mind wanders, gently guide it back to the sensation. And noticing how the breath flows in with the in-breath and flows out with the out-breath. Then let your awareness expand to the sensation of your whole body again. Now we're going to end this practice here and you can open your eyes again if they were closed. Now, from this space of having gathered our attention, let's look at our current situation. We all had very different starting points at the beginning of the pandemic and under lockdown level 5. Some of us have stayed in a comfortable home with enough food and space. Some of us lost their jobs. Some of us stayed with lots of people in a small space. Some of us didn't know how to get money for food. And some of us got sick and recovered. And some of us died. Nothing is new about this situation. But the pandemic seems to have amplified what was there before and surely put the state of the world under a magnifying glass. How we relate and then react to a situation will be very different for each of us. But it is likely that a lot of us have been in survival mode and very many have been in survival mode because they were faced with actual life-threatening situations. It is the essence of mindfulness practice to learn new ways of how to show up in our life situations. First, we notice what is going on for us. We accept that this is how it is in this very moment. And then we can move on with clarity. We can choose how to proceed in order to elevate our own and other people's suffering. So now, if there's one thing you could do today to make our world a better place for yourself and everybody else, what would that be?